For thousands of years, this snow-covered plateau has always been a fresh known world. Majestic Himalayas. Unusual tying, harsh climate. A veil of mystery was cast over him. But it's all shaped the perseverance of the Tibetan people. Under harsh natural environment, they had to fend for themselves. Hundreds of years, there is an animal that is an indispensable partner of the Tibetan people. This is the yak. The most unique animals on the Tibetan plateau. Also in the world. One of the most elusive creatures. For the creatures living on the Tibetan Plateau. Winter is a harsh season. Minus 40 degrees temperature, the heavy snow and the biting cold wind let the residents here suffer from hardships. But they're used to it. Long overdue spring, bright colours that bring life to this barren land. New life comes to the flowery plateau. The Tibetan people rely on the strong yak. cattle to deal with the harsh natural environment. The thin air on the Central Asian Plateau makes people breathless. The yak is like a fish in water here. The content of red blood cells in the blood of yaks is That's higher. It's easier to get life than most animals, essential sheep. After thousands of years of evolution, this genetic factor gradually stabilizes. Yaks have adapted to the high altitude living environment and rough terrain. Rough fur protects his body, strong enough to withstand harsh winds and harsh weather. Yaks are mostly red and black. Occasionally, a light-colored figure will appear in the yak herd, fur with poop and plateaus. Characteristic brown soil, yak sheds its greasy coat at the end of winter, getting ready for a warm spring but he still wears a long skirt, used as a blanket while sleeping. The fluffy and soft coat of the young yak moves with the wind to wear until adulthood. There is no animal like the yak. Cattle are so important to the Tibetan people, but in recent years, a worrying sign is starting to emerge. Although yak populations are not yet threatened, however, due to population genetic rising rates of inbreeding, limitations of nomadic life, the pedigree of yak offspring is becoming more and more monotonous. Statistics show today's yak is nearly one third smaller than a few generations ago. In order to change this situation, authorities act quickly. Substantial funds are being used to improve yak bloodlines. In order to save these plateau boats, help them escape the fate of extinction, the only way is to improve the population quality. 
The lineage of wild yaks in the Kiantang Highlands is very pure. Animal experts use their sperm. Artificial insemination of domestic yaks. The jagged peaks of the Kiantang Highlands sounds the highest altitude region on Earth. Except Greenland. This is the largest nature reserve on Earth. This self-contained ecosystem is off the beaten track, is a sanctuary for wildlife. He is so far away and desolate, not even the bravest herdsman would want to shoot into it. This unnumbered wilderness is the wild yak. Last territory. Huge demand for meat and fur by hunters and herders, making this mysterious animal living range smaller and smaller, endangered. There are less than 1,000 wild yaks left. Very difficult situation. On a plateau at an altitude of 6 kilometers. Herd of wild yaks meets camera footage for the first time. A strange light stretches across the wilderness. This is a natural phenomenon common in high altitude areas. People are still one kilometer away from the herd of wild yaks. They've already sensed the danger message. These undomesticated animals, it is easy to distinguish the the smell of 500 kilograms body, hard horns, two meter long body covered in thick fur, makes the wild yak a formidable opponent. Get over the initial panic. This herd of wild yaks crosses the hills cautiously. Avoid danger. When facing the enemy, lots of animals can use razor tongues, conduct a game, bluff show. Maybe, nothing is more intimidating than the tongue of a wild yak, weapon. With every move he can peel off several layers of skin from his opponent. Because of the thorns on his tongue, Pastoral area, women also often use dried wild yak tongue, hair comb. On the windy mountain ridge, a wild yak listens. He and other animals thrive here. On this one point for million square kilometers of land, wild animals struggle to survive. First for survival. It was they who fled from hunters and the threat of weapons. Tibetan wild donkeys running on the Kiantang Highlands. This is their only habitat. They are only united in their own small group. Tibetan brown bears are already very rare. He has fur ears, thick neck and irascible temperament, living freely on the open plateau, facing opponents like wild yaks. Tibetan brown bears are also daunting. This is the first time people have photographed wild yaks. Thousands of years, this land has always been difficult for humans to set foot in. Don't look at his size, but very sensitive. Once challenged, he'll instantly become a ferocious attacker.
Plateau Grey Wolf is the greatest threat to wild yaks. Every spring, this ugly guy will be looking around. Newborn Cat Wild yaks can usually chase predators far, but the huge body is not conducive to running for a long time. Sometimes, wild yaks will also come to the Kiang hunting Kiang for Highlands. food in the hills. The grass just germinated 500 meters below Zhukshan County. This heralds the arrival of spring. Wild yaks walk restlessly on strange land. They want to go back to where they know, away from everything strange. This big guy has rough fur, no horns. Herdsmen say his horn was broken in a duel. Bad-tempered male wild yak. To defend their own group, they don't hesitate to fight to the death. This footage was shot with a small camera, showing a herd of wild yaks, the scene of being chased by wolves two kilometers away. Wild yaks also fight for territory. These hairy giants, continuing the life trajectory of wild yaks in Tibet. Wildlife experts subdues wild yak with tranquilizer gun. Sperm extraction from males. Sperm are stored in vats filled with liquid nitrogen. The temperature reaches minus 200 degrees. More than 500,000 test tube frozen sperm are produced here every year. In natural mating, male wild yak looks rough, making it hard for domestic cows. So, artificial insemination is a very safe and effective mode of reproduction. According to statistics, trials at Tansen Yak Breeding Center, great success. This center is located north of Lhasa, the capital of Tibet. The yaks raised here are strong and healthy. Few physical defects continuously improve the quality. Yaks are used to carry cargo, has a history of hundreds of years. He can carry a load of 50 kilograms, crossing undulating plateaus. He is thick fur, can tolerate sub-zero temperatures. His limbs are strong enough to keep valuable cargo safe.
Before the road was built, yaks are the main means of transport across the Tibetan plateau. Now, this primitive means of transportation has been replaced by trucks, but in some high altitude areas, the yak is an irreplaceable means of transport. Herders put ribbons on yaks, thought it would keep him safe from the sword. Yaks are the treasures of herdsmen, also the most capable worker will accompany them for a lifetime. On the Tibetan plateau, people tie flags to yak skulls. It shows that people really love this animal. People also put twisted yak skulls on roofs and beams. It is said that it can ward off evil spirits. They are full of treasures from horns to tails, from fur to poop. The Tibetan people cannot do without him. For basic necessities of life, he is the symbol of the vitality of the plateau. To be the best partner of the Tibetan people. The incredible value of yak is immeasurable. People spin high quality fluff into thread, woven into cloth for clothing. Dry the yak hide, craft boots and ammonia bladders. Also beat the ox hair into thick flax, made into tents and blankets. Yak meat can be stored for a long time after being smoked. There are many ways and to eat yak it meat. It is the main source of protein for Tibetan people. Yak fat is an important raw material for Tibetan tea. The locals call this tea butter tea. Yak milk is very mellow and rarely drunk directly. People use it to make cheese and yogurt. Yaks are squeezed and buried at least three times a day in order to meet the needs of an ordinary herdsman family. A dead calf is already stiff, like a brown doormat. He was put in front of his mother and suckled. Under normal circumstances, the mammary glands of female yaks need some stimulation to secrete milk. After the calf is born, herders usually only milk three udders. Leave one for the calf. Yak dung also has high utilization value. This is unavoidable for other animals. On the vast and desolate Tibetan plateau, wood is very rare. Dried yak dung is the daily work of herdsmen. Essential herdsmith. fuel for life. Ashes are good fertilizer. Yak dung can also glue bricks together to build houses. The Tibetan plateau is cold and desolate, and the natural conditions People are harsh. People survived with the help of yaks. On frozen ground as hard as granite, trees can't grow at all. Look at the desolation. The green of life is missing here, not even stunted bushes. Blinding light envelops the rolling hills. The plateau people have already adapted to all this. Yaks rely on tough herbaceous plants on the plateau, survive, but they prefer the grazing valleys and lowlands.
Once you meet the delicious pasture, the yak will open up its appetite, chew and swallow, then digest it backwards like a domestic cow. Yaks have full feeds that break down coarse food and can store half digested food, leave it for later to digestion. The outstretched yak horns look terrifying. It is not only a weapon for yak fighting or a tool for searching and digging for food, so often covered with mud, sometimes broken. Male yaks often top the price to show their authority, even more so before mating. The white-faced general outmaneuvered his opponent and fled. Female yaks also have horns, but much smaller, never used in fights. The white-faced general shows off in front of the person Show he one's likes, heroism, but didn't get a response. For other yaks, the sweet grass in front of me is more important. Yaks mating in summer. Pregnancy similar to that of humans, pups are usually born in the spring. Grass in summer can make it grow fat and strong, enough to withstand the snow and cold in winter. Hundreds of years, hunters have been repelling flies made from yak tails. Tools have a soft spot. Usually, yaks are hunted for their fur, horns and beef. Instead of tail, the yak drives away mosquitoes and flies with its tail. In summer they endured the torment of mosquitoes and flies. Looking for pasture. As the days start to get shorter, snowfall washes away the dirt on the plateau. A large herd of yaks stares at the crisp pasture. They are test tube yaks. They are descendants of wild yaks in the Kiongtang Highlands. These giant bison-like creatures with a strong guard and a matching. Bad temper. In today's Tibetan music, there is also the creation song of Shibodai. Said 18 put the bull's head on a high place. There is a mountain cowhide shop underground. There is the earth. Oxtail in the shade. There is a forest. Tibetan people's love for yaks. Created that humans and animals are interdependent. A model of mutual benefit. This animal still a close partner in the life of the Tibetan people. It has become a generation that thrives on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, developed, symbol of life.